The front of their bakery is still intact. But otherwise, Zoe and Panagiotis Shalasti lost everything in the fire. They've managed to clean up a bit, but they still have no idea what the future holds. Indeed, they're almost as uncertain as they were in August when we first met them. Many of the northern parts of the island of Evia were still on fire and rescue operations were underway. The locals had never seen such an inferno. And today, they feel abandoned. We still haven't received any help. The state has given us nothing. All the equipment burned and the building was damaged. An engineer has estimated damages worth 38,000 euros. Luckily, the flames stopped at the village. But now the locals are worried that other disasters loom. For example, floods and landslides due to heavy rain. After all, the forests around us have all burnt down. Some people are already arming themselves with sacks of sand and metal barriers to survive the winter. This is our new worry. At least the authorities are trying to create makeshift barriers to protect against landslides, using the trees that survived. A third of the island's entire forest burned down, over 50,000 hectares. Yangelis Yoganzis earns his living from the forest, more precisely from the resin of pine trees. The viscous, sticky liquid is used to make various products, including paints, plastics, medicine and cosmetics. Evia accounted for 80% of the pine resin produced in Greece. It is sickening to see this beautiful landscape all charred. Many of my colleagues say it would have been better if our houses had burned down, rather than the forest. Experts estimate that it will take about 30 years until the forests are restored. Though Jorgansus knows that climate change is partly responsible for the devastation, he does not have much faith in the government's environment policies and plans for renewables. The right regions have to be selected. You can't disfigure the mountains here with ugly wind parks. It will be around for generations. Just because some people want to make money. Greek Prime Minister Kyriakos Mitsotakis announced in November that he would invest massively to make Greece climate neutral. The goal is to have 55% fewer CO2 emissions by 2030. Even researchers at the Academy of Athens say that this is a very ambitious goal. However, they also say that it will be terrible if nothing is done. So then uh, Greece uh, would uh, be much warmer with m even more frequent uh, extreme events, the cost of which would exceed at the end of the century 700 billion euros. A monstrous sum that Greece could barely afford. That's why it's urgent, says Zoe Shalasti back in Evia. Something has to happen, fast. There are these climate change conferences, but I think we have to start with the young generation. Children should learn about nature and the environment from as young as possible and learn how to protect them. For now, however, the inhabitants of Evia still have to deal with the impact of the fire, while at the same time preparing for any future man-made catastrophes.